can say hi. There Papa B, Papa B, get, take it. Busy okay, with bucks. Uh, yeah, Leslie yeah, Brace. Oh, okay. Then I'll go book yourself and three others. Mm -hmm. Sage. Thank you. Thank you. Hold the book. Hi, everyone. Oh, can you guys see now? Yeah, we um, can. Or right, can you? I can, it's pause, but... Um. I can do it. Um, hi, Ryan, Rad Key, one other Accio Books 92, Dreamlight Candle, Books and Two Meows, Molly Becca, Vanessa Renee, Luvan, uh, you know what? two others, like Mama Bear Reads, Wicked Heathen, no. George, 3900, Kim Rocks 92, Southern not Reader, I learned now, I'm not on the My Five. Yeah, no, I'd like to have Sorry, that. Sorry, guys, I can't five. say hi to any of my family <laughs> members. I'm not, I'm not working. <laughs> Hi, Les Herondale, Azura Arts, okay. Alchemist, Holler, Nam, Beautifully Bookish Here, Books, one, Bookish Soul for Always, Here, Queen of Books and Sleep, Lacey Felker. We hope everyone had a great weekend. Um, I spent most of it curating some upcoming boxes. And guys, let me tell you, we have some awesome things in store for the next couple of boxes. Um, I'm super excited with how everything's turning out. We are working with some amazing artists and vendors. Um, one or two we may spill beans about later on if you keep watching. Um, but now let's just introduce the Beacon family to you guys. Um, um, that's um, a nod for me. Here, yes. I'll take that. Um, because mine's not Well, then like hand that. it to me because I'd like to get that back. Um, um, hey guys, I'm Papa Beacon. I'm Mike. I'm Cameron's dad. Um, you guys will catch me on the emails and packing boxes, doing a bunch of the other behind the scenes stuff. Uh, staying up late at night. Uh, Taking care of everything, basically. So that's about it. Hi, everyone. I'm Cameron. I am the teenage founder of Beacon Book Box. Uh, reading has always been one of my huge passions growing up. And my freshman year in high school, two years ago, I decided to turn my love of reading into a business that takes up ago, all of our month. time. <laughs> two years ago Honestly, this month. Honestly, yeah, did not see it getting this big. Um, I started off working on it maybe one or two hours a week, a little more at the beginning, but now it's just nonstop. Um, and I'm extremely grateful to have two awesome parents to lead and guide me through this Hi, awesome Ashley. experience. And just have the book community behind us as we grow with all of you. So thank hi, you guys for that. Hi, I'm Mama Beacon. I always say hi to everybody. And my phone is not working. It's not picking up. So I'm sorry I missed a lot of you. Um, it's not, it's not going to do it. So, no, no, no. I it, well, it's almost dead. So anyway, um, so I have the iPad, which is gigantic, which is really, wow, like everybody's jumping out. Um, so I just help out with Cameron with anything he wants me to help with. And that's it. So... We're going to try to do a kind of a quick live tonight because yeah. it's Super Bowl Sunday. Yeah, my phone's not working. Uh, but we do have a bean or two, so mm -hmm. we're excited about that. So we'll just do a quick update. on um, January boxes were all shipped, I think, after... Did we say that they were all... I think they all shipped before last week's live, if I remember yes. correctly. Um, all those are out, and we have some extras left I in the shop. I know. I we have had a stunning response to our January box, Actually, guys. Literally everyone has been in love with the items we included. And they were all super excited for the book, so thank you all for the positive response. Um, our February box, this is our two-year anniversary box, and the theme is Fighting Fate. This box features fandoms such as The Cruel Prince, Servant and Dove, The Witcher, and Strange the Dreamer. And guys, this box is epic. So um, we've revealed two vendors so far. Um, we revealed Literary Life Company, who is doing a Cruel Prince design. Um, to our smaller item, but it is stunning. And then we also revealed last night that Katarina Book Designs is back with us and she's doing Yay! a design for a large usable item that you can probably drink out of, um, inspired by Serpent and Dove. So Serpent and Dove, is, if you have seen um, the Percy Jackson item from our April, August 2019 box and a Darker Shade of Magic item from our February 2019 box, yeah, it's one of these again, and it's huge, and I you guys will not want to miss out. Books. Yay! <laughs> Papa Beacon gets to pack Hi, that just for you guys. Yes. George. Um, in addition to those two items, we have some other stuff My that's going to be awesome. Um, we have the Witcher collectible ornament. This is the second collectible item we are doing in the new year. Um, in each of our monthly boxes, we are doing a stunning glass ornament inspired by a different fandom. So January's was an Ember in the Ashes, and February's is the Witcher, and guys... Oh my gosh, it is stunning. It turned out gorgeous. It yes. turned out. And hey, you guys, by the way, go grab a January box. There's a handful of them left. Um, same, actually, same with our February box, guys. February sales are 
crushing yes. it. After we revealed um, the two vendors, and especially that we said the Serpent and Dove item is that large item that you've seen in past boxes, uh, we only have, I think, Probably at the 10. time of lighting our po writing our post last night, we had 25, and now I think we have 10. So go get your box, guys, because they're going to sell out within the next day. I can guarantee you that. Um, now, can I give an update on the Bookstagram box? Yeah. You guys, if you don't know about this Bookstagram box, what it is is we decided to collaborate with, I think there's 10 or 11 Bookstagrammers that have taken their accounts and have kind of had, had I don't know if the word success, have, have had a lot of fun with it and are very good at making pictures, making things happen, lighting, you know, uh, videos, all that stuff. So what I asked them to do was to join us and give us hints and tips and ideas and I'm going to combine all those into a notebook for you um, and between each one we'll have a blank page for notes and besides that guys these props I have that are going in this box you guys I've had a couple samples come in and they are amazing <laughs> they are great you guys are going to absolutely love it yes so, it's fun and those sales are yeah. going really well guys so get in there because this is a pre-order item um, uh, it's going to close February 28th, and we're going to ship probably mid to late April. Late April, early so. May, yeah. Papa Beacon has been having so much fun with this box. Yeah. He's been, I'm, I'm <laughs> like worried he's going to go over budget. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got to keep it right. Right. Um, In addition to our Bookstagram box, we have our Imagine Me Special Edition box in collaboration with Tahara Mafia on sale. Guys, we are putting the final touches on this box, and everything is turning out so stunning. Yes. Um, it is a super high item count, just like our Five Dark Fates and Capturing the Devil Special Edition boxes. Um, those blew our customers out of the water, and we can guarantee you our Imagine Me box will too. Um, just a couple of beans tonight for that. Um, I'm not going to say any item reveal beans, but we are thrilled to announce that we will be working with um, El Rune Art, formerly known as El Rooney Art, and Silver Art on this box. Uh, Silver designed our Cardin blankets in our A Very Beacon Christmas Special Edition box. And it our was card awesome. and pillowcase from our Wicked King Special Edition box. And they are doing a stunning design of Kenji for a large, snuggly item. So if you guys are Kenji fans <laughs> and you like the item that's like the staple item in our Special Edition boxes, you will not want to miss out on this. It's a blanket. Yeah, I was going to say blanket. It's a blanket. Because we always yeah, include sure. a we large... Go really awesome blanket in all our special edition mm -hmm. boxes. Yes, it books won't be in the Bookstagram box. So Southern, our, Southern our Reader, box. the Bookstagram box will be still on sale this month. All the Until way to the end, end of the month. month. February 29th, I think. Yep, and if um, it's past that and you need me to hold it, just let me know and send me an email. And um, then um, Al Rune Art, she designed the stunning I Queen Catherine royal portrait that Kandara oh, Blake yeah, signed and numbered gorgeous. 1 through 500 for those lucky customers. And she's doing the same for a Juliet-inspired poster for our Imagine Me Special Edition yes. box. That's so the first 500 customers signing. who order a complete box will receive the signed and numbered poster 1 through 500. And it features a really special scene that kind of resonated with us here at Team Beacon and um, Tara and her agent. So we're super yeah. excited about that. And just working with Tara and her agent over at Harbor Crowns has been amazing. They're so sweet, so nice, and they've provided some really insightful knowledge into this box, which we're super excited to share. Yes. We are yes. excited! Yes. Yes. yes, Kayla, it is a leap year. And they <laughs> started reading the series when we were in Aruba, and she's hooked, so she's loving it. Simi reads. So. Yeah, it is Hi, such a good series. If you guys have not read Shattered Me yet, go we'll get on it. Um, I think those are the two updates that I can provide for Imagine Me now. Um, we have some special item right? ideas in mind for this box. Um, they kind of the box overall follows the same format as our past special edition boxes, um, but we're making it bigger and better. I think this is going to be a six-inch box, six yes, inches deep, is. like our a very beacon Christmas box. Yep. So yes, yeah, yeah. So exciting. Um, other news. Um, I'm trying to think. Let me go with the <laughs> questions because I don't think. How about if I spill the beans things. for our February book sleeve? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I did see that. a comment or two about that. Yeah. How about if we do that, guys? We have one here if anybody wants uh, to see one. Cam, take it. Okay, guys. So our February Fighting Fate box, um, since February is an even month, we include a beacon book sleeve and bi-monthly boxes. So Love is in the Air is our fabric hint for our Love February book sleeve. And, guys, look at how stunning this is. It is huge. And this will protect uh, protect your hardcover and softcover books. And you it's could sparkly. probably even fit really two tell. in here. Yeah. Oh, there are sparkles it's on it. Sparkles. I didn't even see that. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, but yeah, Actually, I love including these book sleeves, and I think they're a nice addition to our um, boxes every other month. So if you guys like book sleeves, you will not want to miss out on this one. It is very Valentine's Day esque. Yes, very pretty. And, yes. But you really you could even use it any time of the year. But it's more, yeah, it's more Valentine-y theme. But you could use that anytime. Mm -hmm. um, Camilla ten twenty three said, "What about Game of Thrones Neil Gaiman ideas?" So we have a Game of Thrones item or two coming up in future monthly boxes. One will be for the collectible ornaments. We definitely have an idea for that. And then you will probably also see it in a monthly box, um, just like as a standalone item. As for Neil Gaiman uh, books, I haven't. We haven't really thought about much of those. I mean, you can never say no to seeing an item inspired by one of his books included, but. Um, if I'm thinking off the top of my head, I don't think anything coming up soon is inspired by his books. But um, we're always open for suggestions. And yeah. you know, we need to do another fandom off soon. We haven't done a fandom off in yeah, you're right. a while. Those are always <laughs> fun to do. So yeah, we love to do we love to do um a, books, authors that you guys like. So that's mm -hmm. an idea. We'll put it in our in our hat. Um, RCL, yes, Simi. We RCL will, we, chemist that I just ordered my bookstore grand box. Oh, yay! yay. yay. And yes, Simi, we will have hot chocolate. Cameron's actually going to be updating the bunker this week, probably by Wednesday, um, with past items, including some January items. Yes, because I'm actually going out to the bunker after this to count and clean up after January boxes. So. Hi, yeah. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, we're going to have that all updated. And also, I think we did mention and spilled a little bean about our website. Our website is in the process of being updated. We're working on the back side of it right now, making sure that everything works. So we're, we're hoping to launch March 1st on that, but we will let everybody know. Shockingly, Shay Reese said she missed the sleeve. Her phone flubbed. So I don't know if you want to hold it up again. <laughs> Hi, Ella Reese. And it's sparkly. You really can't see it very well, but it's really, really pretty. We love sparkly <laughs> sleeves, too. A couple of people said they love sparkly sleeves, so we do, too. So our Or Arthur's Bags. Author's bag subscription with some products, Camilla said. Ooh, okay. I just got, I'm trying to view, we just got an email for some artwork that I didn't think was going to come in for a while, Ooh. so I'm trying to preview Ooh, see, it. see, we can show everybody? Uh, probably not show Ooh. everyone, but I just wanted to see what it looks oh, like. Oh, George, great. Just George 3900. Oh. Just oh, bought the January box order that subscribe for February. Can't wait to get yeah. Oh, is this for, is this my month? Yeah. My, are um, collectibles? So, Gryffindor, Gryffindor, I'm just going to go into some questions while this is loading. We might be able um, to show you some art. Yay. Emma the Bibliophile asked, any Star Wars merch possible in upcoming boxes? Um, Star Wars is kind of tough because of licensing stuff, but I mean, you can never say no because we have worked with licensing in the past. Um... So yeah, it can be a possibility if it fits within the hey, Miss Victorious. Um, but would you guys want to see Star Wars inspired items yeah, in boxes, or is that yeah. not like book related yeah. enough? Echo Book said, "Who are the what are the ducks?" So this is Nessie, this is Ruby, this and is Marshmallow, marshmallow. <laughs> and I'm sure Biscuit. Hershey's back over yeah, there Hershey's laying down. Hershey's out. Yeah, she went on a long mm -hmm. walk today, so. So oh, Southern thanks, Reader Ricky. asked, "I'm glad you love um, the January box. Will we ever get another mug in one of your boxes?" So if you like mugs definitely check out our february box yes um yes 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 yay <laughs> and, i get and, to pack more and, mugs and they're, they're nice sized mugs too mm -hmm. i mean they're like giant mugs i love them i love i love to do like a triple latte in the morning so i need a bigger mug so i can milk down the espresso so it's not <laughs> so strong so <laughs> oh gosh um jessa T. L. Girl asked, what bookish item or items are y'all excited for this year? Um, to include in a box, without giving too many beans, there's a large um, item that Papa Beacon came up with for our Imagine Me box, and we have not seen one of these items included in a box. Wait till you it's see super, it! It's really unique. I like how it turned out. Um, Can I say what it is? No. No. Because it's, it's too oh, It's very, too very unique. Yes. Uh, it's really... Yes, we're you really guys. Excited. We think you guys are going to love, love, love it. And... Well, and maybe we'll even do it in a monthly box sometime because it's really cool. So, mm -hmm. Ekio Books said she just got her Henderbell back. So, she said thank you so yes, much. Yes, yes. Glad that got they to you. They grabbed Henderbell in Aruba in one day. She, she was riveted. She through it, yeah. Like, she was on the beach underneath her little tiki thing. And she mm. still got pink. A pink face. I don't know. Apparently, the sun was... <laughs> um, the mugs, I, I'm not sure if they're dishwasher safe. Are they dishwasher? I, I would... I think... I would hand wash. Just I think because we dishwash them. I, I think... I, 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 I have dishwashed them, but um, yeah, they I, might I don't know. chip a little bit. Yeah, um, I don't know on those. I don't so think I think it, ours have been it, fine, but you might be better off just hand washing it. Um, I think that's what we've told people anyway, but I I can't remember. 
Shackle um, Lache reads, I'm, I think I'm going to need a bigger apartment for everything. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, other questions. AccuBooks92 said, do you read graphic novels? If so, do you have any recommendations? Um, I do not, but if you like reading YA Magical books, uh, definitely check out Marissa Myers' Wires of Nerve and V.E. Schwab's uh, Shades of Magic comics. I think those are graphic novels. Victoria, you're absolutely right, Victoria. She asked for more travel books in the future. Are there any more travel books? Um, not planned for, like, the spring quarter, but there's an idea or two tossed around for summer and fall. Camilla asked, what was the best item in the 2019 boxes for you? I know what mine was. Oh, gosh. Um, hmm. 2019 Well, you're thinking, I'm going to say, I loved, well, oh, I guess it wasn't in a 2019 box. It was in um, a special edition box. I loved Santa Cardin in our a Very Beacon. Yeah, it was sent out in 2019. I, yeah, but it yeah. wasn't a monthly box. It was special edition. I just love. I thought that was just so much mm -hmm. fun. Hmm. Um, monthly box wise, boy, I don't know. They've all been pretty. I, I think the blankets are cool. I, I like a couple of pillowcases. I really love the signed and numbered poster we did for our Five Dark Fates box. I just had a blast. Oh, yeah, that was actually gorgeous. I like the ornaments because yes, we we did the Harry Potter ornament in the Hender Bell box. That was fun. Yeah, and that um, turned out really nice too. I like the pot that we did in June's box, the planner pot. That oh, was, yeah, I, we yeah, had a lot of people. That's, that's, that you know what? I'm going, hey, here's, here's I need help, guys. I want to do another challenge like that, so I need another item. Think of some that's items that we can put in a box so that we can do another challenge like that That flower that we tried growing in. I kicked everybody's butt. Well, we could just My do flower was the best. pot with seeds. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah. The beautifully Bookish book said, have you read the... the Guinevere Deception. I'd love to see I've something not in the read Camelot Rising series. The Guinevere Deception, yeah, but um, stay tuned for items or a box modeled around it. Um, I know that one was hugely popular. So. Hey, SJ Wonders, she joined. Yay! Queen of Books and Sleep said, favorite book in the Shatter Me series? Definitely Shatter Me. I'm like one of those people who, if I read a series, it's usually the first or second book that resonate with me the most. Um, I have probably very few series where like the latter books in the series are my favorite. Um, but yeah, hey, you never know. Something could surprise me in the future. I think, I think we'll do another plot. A plot. A, 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 that was a flower and a pot at the same time. <laughs> a plot. Oh, come, come springtime. Come springtime. So that once we get out here in this, you know, away from this cold weather. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we'll do it and we'll have another challenge. But. You guys, we've been working with our reps and our team leaders, and we've been, they've been coming up with some on. really they've neat ideas. Really, <laughs> of, of, I even popped in on the group chat the other night with the reps. It was fun. So we, we, we have some really neat things. We were talking about wine. We have some neat things coming out. So, so Miss yes. Victorious asked, which is the best book you've read so far in 2020, and when will you reveal the March theme? Um, best book I've read in 2020? Let me go look at my list. Of I would say our read. January book. That was your favorite. That was my favorite, guys. It's it's. I'm not gonna say the name of it because everybody should. Oh, and talking about the January book, our book club starts on Wednesday. The dates are going to be dropped by Mama Bear Reads on Wednesday, guys. So make sure you contact her to join. Yeah. Um, we have single books also. Those are going to be in the shop starting on Tuesday at the latest. Is the author going to be doing And then what we're going to be bringing our author on, and then the author will also join in with you guys on the book club. Yeah. We loved the so author. She was a sweetheart. She was, a, she was a total so, sweetheart. My favorite book that I read in 2020 was All Your Twisted Secrets, by, or in January, it was All Your Twisted Secrets by yeah. Diana Urban. Um, I plowed through that book, guys. It comes out in March, so stay tuned. Wink, wink. <laughs> speaking of March, um, our March theme will be announced closer um, two weeks, I think, February 11th. Ten days, ten days from now. We know Maybe what a little is, earlier if um, our February box sells out. Do we want to say but... tonight? Because yeah, this. this I mean, is I our guess I guess we on? could because February is so bean? close to selling out. Yeah. So our March theme is explosive secrets, guys. Explosive. <laughs> explosive secrets. And if I just pull up the fandom list right now, I'll give you guys a sneak peek at fandoms that are going to be featured in this box. Um, Please note, this isn't the final list, but just ideas for now. Um, Stalking Jack the Ripper, The Selection, yeah. Carry On, One of Us is Lying, and The Lunar Chronicles. That is the list for now that may change just slightly um, before announcement date, but it shouldn't. Um, but yeah, you guys go. There's a bean. Um, Laura's Bookish Corner asks, can you give a spoiler for the Bookstagram box? I have no knowledge on the Bookstagram box. That's probably Beacon. That's so. yeah, mine. That's his baby. You guys know I love to spill the beans. Gosh. Um, boy, what one can I spill? 
I need a sample. Should I just tell everybody what they've been asking for, what's going to be in it? Well, you might as well. Yeah. All right, here it is. Everybody, there is, I believe, eight or nine different crowns that will be distributed throughout the boxes. So everybody in your bookstagram box is going to get a crown. And Woo! these crowns are absolutely gorgeous, stunning, Everyone gorgeous. Loves all this. I love, okay, so I think March is going to be extra special because we're doing something a little bit different for the book of the month. It's not a YA fantasy, um, but I'm not going to give too many of the beans because I kind of already talked about it earlier. But anyway, for, for, um, for March? March's box, it has a mashup of fandom. So we have a fantasy or two fandom. We have a historical thriller fandom being featured. We have a contemporary one, um, another contemporary thriller. It's just an awesome mix of some great fandoms. And I'm so excited, guys, for the items because we have some oh, unique things oh, in mind for Oh, and box. those of you who have not got a February box, go get a February box. Ten arcs are going to be randomly distribute it. You have an opportunity to win an ARC. Yes, so that is for our two-year anniversary box, February. I don't yes, know if you said that yes, right I did. Um, and there's an e-book. Yes. February boxes not only yes. include um, items inspired by The Cruel Prince, Serpent and Dove, uh, The Witcher, and Strange Dreamer. They're two Cruel Prince inspired yes, items. Or just, yeah, two, two Cruel Prince things. Um, and then you have those five, two? the uh, book sleeve, our signed YA fantasy with so much romance and adventure, book of the month, awesome book with an author letter, but you also have an ebook um, by Miss Victorious, she's actually on here right now, um, and, and, yes. and a chance yes, to yes, get yes. an arc in your box, because we're putting a, a few yes. arcs, so, um, yeah. I'm putting in at least 10 random arcs of books, YA books, um, in random boxes, and it's gonna be awesome. So I'm super excited for how February. I like Noreen, respect your shelf. She's like, this is exactly how I'd imagine a live would go with my family. It's like, <laughs> 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 what, us all interrupting each other. <laughs> yeah, you guys, these crowns, I'm telling you guys, uh, they are absolutely stunning. You guys have Everybody's to get this like books so to grand box. About a crown. Yeah, you guys, so everyone's freaking out about the Cruel Prince, Serpent Dove, the crowns. You, you guys, the crowns, I'm telling you, it, I need it's a worth crown. a box alone. I need a crown. Well, you guys wait till you see. I mean, I'm thinking outside the box on some of these. I mean, it's. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of myself. I, I'm, I'm yeah. very happy with this Bookstagram box. So, speaking of our February box, Miss Victorious is on here, um, and her debut novel is being featured as her ebook of the month. So, yes. Miss Victorious, if you want to just give a little um, yeah. elevator pitch of your book, I remember. How you phrased it in your email was super captivating, and I was like, "Ooh, that sounds good." But I don't remember what I don't remember how you pitched it to us. Um, <laughs> but if you want to do that in the chat and get people hyped up about that, um, yeah, Mama Bear, the crown was, was a good idea. It was my idea. I was actually thinking of a tiara, and it got shot down, so I went with crown. Shockingly Ricky Reed wants to see the crown. I don't. <laughs> I don't have the crowns in hand yet. I have pictures, but... Oh, I thought we did have the crown. That's the... Those... I don't know thing. if I'm going to do those. Oh, okay. Shockingly, Shay Reed said, we're royalty looking for the right crown. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what's going to be really unique about these Bookstagram boxes, guys, is everybody's is going to probably be a little different with some of the items I'm getting. There are eight to ten different... Yes, everybody's um, going to get ...varieties different or stuff. designs. Yeah. So, Hi, Krista. Yeah, Krista asked, when is the last day to buy the Bookstagram box and the Imagine Me box? So, last day to buy the Bookstagram box I is February 29th at 11.59 PST. That is the cutoff, end of February, and Imagine Me is until we sell out. Um, I envision that selling out by end of February, mid-March. Um, that's the one. We met Krista in Boston. I remember that. Oh, that's right. <laughs> and, uh, Sarah, um, I will be modeling the crown once it comes in. Oh, gosh. Hi, Kimby. So, Miss Victoria said, The book is a YA high fantasy novel inspired by the Greek myth of Pandora's box, packed with elemental magic, shady characters, and Game of Thrones and Throne of Glass vibes. Woohoo! Um, sign me up. Hello. That sounds, <laughs> that sounds awesome. awesome. So, if you guys, if that book interests you, it will be tears. available as an ebook in our February box. Yeah, it's a tiger. Um... I think that's pretty much it for tonight. We just wanted to do a quick live. I think we touched on everything. I answered questions. Busy Book said, um, does Imagine Me ship at the end of March? So Imagine Me's release date is literally the last day in March, March 31st. Um, it will ship either that day or in, within the next couple of days. It really just depends on when the books get here and when all of our items arrive. But it will ship around the book's release date, March 31st. Yep. So 
Yeah, because Technically, it could be in we March, can't. but we can't ship out. Yeah, yes. by contract, we can't ship out before the book's release yes. date. So, yes. We shall see, but Why yeah, everything's on track for that box at the moment. And you guys, I apologize, I did not get last week's live up on uh, YouTube, but boo. I will this one. This will boo. probably be up uh, boo. late tomorrow. Boo. Okay, yeah, boo me. <laughs> yeah, like, ah. Uh. Are you going to put that one up, though? No, I accidentally deleted it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> right. so, Don't do that. Nah, I don't know. I hit the wrong button on the stupid <laughs> camera. SJ Wonderland said, February is my birthday month and your anniversary. Just saying. Uh, Papa Beacon and Faith both have birthdays in February. Like yeah. in two days. So, is it two? I three know, days. Present. Three days. <laughs> What's Wednesday? Yeah. They were born on the same day. Yeah. They same birthday. Wow. So. Yeah. So Papa Beacon always says no matter how he acts, he's always going to have cake for his birthday. Yep. I don't care if Which it's got a princess true. on it or if it's pink. It doesn't matter. I still get cake. <laughs> So we're going to sign off, guys. We actually mm -hmm. have a Super Bowl party we have to get to from our dear friends. And I have to go pack and orders. <laughs> yes, Cameron has to pack orders. Papa B and I are going to a, a Super Bowl party. Party, party, so party. Not that I'm going to watch the game. I'm just going to hang out with yeah, all my friends. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, we hope you enjoyed the updates. Hey, Don't Christian, forget, I'm not this year, slacking. January, I saw February, that. January, and Imagine Me and Bookstagram boxes. All those are available and are selling fast. We do expect to sell it with uh february's box within the next day or two so. yeah so go get yours hurry yeah. up guys Everybody because it has a birthday. oh well thanks for the happy birthday <laughs> wishes guys it has something you can drink out of you could put coffee in it yes simi race it i'll get you a cake when you come to amsterdam august 9th and 10th <laughs> yep yeah, we'll be there august 10th and yep whatever the 20th so yeah. august, I think 20th. all right well, i'm holding you to that thanks guys, guys. hey you guys, Bye, guys. have an amazing week and um don't forget the book club starts on wednesday Wait, somebody said who are you rooting for dad uh it's probably gonna be kansas city boo okay. yeah <laughs> 3900 love your books keep up the great work thank, thank you. you thank you yeah. thanks see you guys next sunday hey, bye, guys. bye. Oh, have yeah, a Sunday, yes, guys. and we'll have beans. And we'll do more giveaways more beans. next Woo! Sunday. Okay. Right. Extra giveaways. Bye guys. Bye guys. See you guys.